Hey guys, today we have Patrick Sargent, United States Air Force Academy grad and UTMBA graduate. Patrick started working with me after 14 years at USA. He had a great career with a lot of different jobs. And Patrick, let me ask you, like, what was the main reason that you wanted to start working and start looking at your career after leaving USAA? You know, uh, Tom, I'd been there a long time, had great education opportunities, a great uh, breadth of experience at USAA. And I think it was time to say, is this the place I want to spend my entire career? Um, are there other opportunities where I can flourish, grow myself and help grow another company with the things I've learned at really the top customer experience company in the world? So you wanted to take that experience you got at USA and, and apply it somewhere else. And and I think that's where, you know, we started working together. Tell me a little bit about your uh, experience, because when I look at 14 years, I see, you know, a lot of great jobs you had. Tell me about that, maybe. Yeah, I, I, uh, I think the MBA taught me to care about P&L, right, profit and loss. And I'd become pretty good at marketing. Got a great opportunity with USAA coming out of the Air Force in a process just like this, where I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing, um, but I knew the direction I wanted to head. And so I chased problems at USAA when I learned how to do marketing, when I saw that I couldn't meet a growth target and moved to different roles to help really refine the breadth of my experience there. Uh, when I feel like I had accomplished what I'm going to accomplish, again, at that wonderful institution, I think it was time to look beyond. And that's when I contacted you and we got in touch. And it really helped me open up introspectively what I needed to learn about myself in order to grow and do some work. Uh, and learn and grow a little bit about what on the outside I was missing. So I've seen you grow quite a bit, and we'll talk about that later. What do you think were the biggest challenges that made you want to start uh, working together? I know definitively the biggest challenge I had initially was focus. With that breadth of responsibility came a lack of that laser of like, where do you want to go, Patrick? And, and I think you really helped me to refine that. Um, it changes a bit on the way. Um, as you talk with different companies and individuals um, through networking, but it was really, really important to do the work on myself and ask myself the tough questions that you help probe as we talk through the process. And the other piece, you know, you see my uh, parachute team patch back here is trusting a process. Uh, it works and, and following along with the heart and head um, ultimately made things very clear at the end. So you talk about the process that we uh, went through and uh, that you went through when we started the coaching process. Can you tell me a little bit about the process and how it helped you? Yeah, I think, um, you know, again, just that critical juncture of who is Patrick, um, what are his strengths, and ultimately where does Patrick want to go uh, was a great exercise to help me be able to communicate with others um, in my network who wanted to help me find that. Uh, once we refined it, it was about presenting myself to the market in a way that is professional, succinct, um, and also marketable based on the target that I wanted to achieve. And so we met pretty frequently um, in the beginning to refine those pieces, um, get a network going, and then ultimately finding where I landed. That's awesome. And, and, and you know, and I saw a tremendous uh, transformation along the process and, and how you were able to really connect with the high level decision makers, C-levels and VPs at your target companies and industries. What was the biggest thing you learned or, or grew in regards to networking? I think the biggest thing that um, I grew in regards to networking was being comfortable reaching out to others, being really succinct and clear in telling them who I was and why I was meeting with them and not asking for a job, right? That is not the nature of the networking. It's um, how do we get to know one another? How can we help each other? And at the end, is there something I can do for them? Is there something I can do for you? Uh, and, and then as network growth, I will say where I'm headed will be a great network of folks for me to engage with and even be better at what I do. And so you ended up, uh, what was the end result? You, I think you got two offers, right? At the same time. Yes, uh, yes. It was like the bittersweet fortune and opportunity to have to have to gracefully make a choice and I felt like um, I was very blessed to get my dream job, uh, make an opportunity to connect my head with my heart, take a very different path than I had been on, uh, but expand upon the skills and strengths that I had learned at USAA and in the Air Force and working with you. So you made a big change. I mean, after 14 years, uh, you had a lot of different jobs at USA. Now you're going to an entirely different company. What would be the main advice you would give to somebody else 
who is embarking on this networking process, uh, maybe for the first time, or they haven't done it for a while? Uh, the biggest piece of advice I would say is invest in yourself. Take the time to really sit back and say, what's led me here? You know, there's that book that says, you know, what got you here won't get you there. There's some truth in that, but I actually think what got you where you are has to do with what's in your DNA and what you want to do and what you're good at. And then there's a gap between where you want to go and where you currently are. And that's where all the work comes in in this process. It's worth to me the investment in what you're going to learn about yourself uh, working with Tom. And that's, I think that's my biggest piece of thankfulness in, in our relationship is your questions were always back to what do you think, Patrick? What is it that you want and what defines you? And ultimately that's going to have to be what made my choice at the end when faced with two, which was a blessing. You know, Patrick, I'm really happy because, you know, in us working together, the timing, not only was it right in that you got two offers at the same time, but it happened at the timing that you wanted to when you wanted to make your move. Was that right? Yeah, it, it was. And I would say it's a, a lot of work, a lot of faith and a little bit of luck at the end. But at the end, I knew I was worth it. Um, I knew I had the strengths and that confidence that was built along the process um, reflected well for me with these two opportunities as well, because they felt it. Um, so, you know, take the time. It's, it's not always going to be, you know, on your calendar. Um, certainly, I didn't see these things coming at this time. So we're very, very fortunate uh, that we're faced with this circumstance. Awesome. Yeah, really, really uh, excited about it. And what would you say to somebody who's looking at hiring a career coach or coach to help them? What would you say from your experiences? What advice would you have for somebody like that? My best advice would be take a little time to talk with them, um, do do some research, and then ultimately you will you will know um, when you're asking questions about yourself or you are stumped or there are opportunities that you wouldn't otherwise have found. And I don't mean in terms of jobs. I mean, found in terms of questions that you're answering for yourself from that person. And I think it's certainly worth it. It's great to have a Sherpa and a guide along the process. We know what to do. We know our strengths and we know our values. Um, but sometimes it really helps to have that coach say, have you done this yet? Why didn't you reply? Um, and have someone to bounce ideas off of some transparency and truth seeking. Um, but that's a big part of this process is finding your truth. Oh, that's funny. I like how you said Sherpa. So uh, was I uh, a Sherpa in a, in a sense? <laughs> You're a great Sherpa. There were many times uh, that I would pick up the phone like, Tom, what do I do here? Um, I want to do the right thing. And, and you've been through this quite a bit more than I had with 14 plus yeah. years at the same company. Uh, so I really appreciated uh, the grace you worked with me through uh, to do the right things and maintain yeah. relationships. I mean, at the end of the day, if that's all that I walked away with, um, yeah. That would have been fantastic for my portfolio and strengths. My board of advisors has grown immensely uh, as a result of all this networking. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've seen your growth and that's been actually one of the biggest things for me is to see you grow. And, you know, if I can be a Sherpa to anybody like you, I'm happy to do it to help you reach the Everest. Thanks, Tom. It, it helps we have some common interest outside of the relationship as well. So Sherpa is a fitting, fitting uh, title. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks, Patrick. And great working with you. And uh, good luck in your next job.